yeah, so we've got to turn left here because you can't go. That's where we came in, isn't it? Yeah, when you come in, it's a no through road that way, so you've got to go left here. It take, dumps you right onto the dual carriageway as well if you, if you were to go out there. Well, I thought you can't go back that way because you'd be the wrong side of the dual carriageway, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. And back to the M6. Now, this looks fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing about 90 up here. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, we're going towards Kendall, aren't we? Yeah. And then on to back onto the M6. Then we might stop at Gretna Green. Coming up. Yeah, film a different so avoid a sign there. And this is the way you would have come in before the motorway. Yeah. And there's even an old toll old bar toll there. Bar, yeah. That's the first and last house in Scotland. Yeah. Right across from that. Yeah. That's the shopping uh, area there, isn't yeah. it? We've been in there, haven't we? The Gretna Inn. Yeah, it's quite nice in there, isn't it? Yeah. Going over the motorway. Yep. Across there. Yep, yeah, that's right. There's the famous blacksmith shop. Right, going across there. Yep. There's trees back, aren't there? Yeah, that's going to make a noise, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> How's that? That was a cattle grid. I think that no squeaky noise is the back door, I think. Is it? I think so. Seem to do it when you're travelling, only when you're going slowly. We well, probably can't hear it when uh, no. going along fast. No, I suppose not. I think I could hear a sort of faint squeak. Yeah. No overnight in here, but it's a handy place to stop. A few of us here. Yep. Been to the food hall, Pops. <laughs> A cheese and salad baguette. That's huge, isn't it? A bit, isn't it? Mackie's, Mackie's fish, and, fish and chips, Mackie's and crisps, <laughs> and a couple of cappuccinos. Uh, no, twin... America, Americanos. Americanos, sorry. Yeah. So How much was that little lot then? £21. Quite a plate for that. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's yeah. huge. <laughs> yeah, still a fair bit of parking here. I think we're going to go on the old road, aren't we, back yeah, to, to Moffat, just for a change. Actually, a Glorious day, really. You don't want to do the courtship maids, do you? No. 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 <laughs> Here it is, including the famous blacksmith's shop. 
history and romance, food and drink, clothes and fashion, gifts and souvenirs. That's where we got our lunch, isn't it? From there. Yeah, food hall's quite nice in there. I was going to say it's a bit expensive, but it wasn't really that bad. It was huge, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a big, uh, big roll. It was good. Oh, yeah. We used to come here because they were banned in England for marrying under 21. That's how it started. And chased as well. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. Okay. Wee big shop. Yep, wee big shop. Not sure, not sure what that is. But... I think that's where you get your engraving thing from, isn't it? There's another food court in there, isn't there? Yeah, and a bar yeah, in there. Bar as well. <coughs> Been in the museum, haven't we? Yeah, the museum's worth a visit. Let's put a link up there. Or up there. No, up there. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere, up there. There's, um, there's a link to our walk around the museum that we did. A few years back. Got, yeah, about three years ago. Yeah. And that's the bridge we came over because we turned off, didn't yeah. we? Turn off the M74. That's a really old picture with an old car. Yeah. And there's the first and last house that we passed. All oh, right. Okay. And we've actually come over that bridge today. Yeah. Oh, it's quite bright, eh? Yeah, I just little shops here. Barber. Coats and things. Yeah. Coffee in the conservatory. There we are. Under the hands. It's a nice place to stop off, isn't it, on your way it up? It is, yeah. Yeah. Got the piper. He's not playing at the moment. No, he's collecting his. Uh, yeah, and donations. that's the, the museum if you want to go around that. The Lucky Arch, made from hunting shoes worn by a cream of the board, a winner of 21 chases and Kinmount Woolley, winner of the Scottish Grand National in 1980, both bred on the estate by the late G.B. Mackey. Oh yeah. Give us a kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and gifts and things. No, that's where you get your <coughs> lock from, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. And whiskey and gin sampling. Hmm. That's quite warm now. Yeah, it's, it's getting quite warm. <coughs> Looking hmm? on our video that made at the time yeah. when we got the lockets, it's on the E one. Yeah, it's definitely on the E because we, we thought, oh, it makes sense, E for initial. But, uh, we wrote it in uh, ink that rubbed away. Well, no, indelible. Indelible. It was on indelible, but this, you know, it could be anything, couldn't it? It could be anywhere. It could be that one. It was a grey one. Was it? Yeah. It could be that one then. No, it's purple. That's purple, isn't it? It could be anywhere. I thought we put it quite high, quite high up. It would be one, one like that, but again, that's worn off. So you should have paid to have it engraved. Yeah, like I should have done, didn't I? Perhaps next time. Perhaps another 25 years. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's the motorway. Yeah, well, she's, we've got a programme to avoid motorways. So we're going alongside it. Yeah. This was the original road we came on, I'm sure it was. Yeah. Continue on the 776. Thank you.
so we just want to carry straight on. I think she's talking to me now. Sulking? Yeah. Not going my road. Where the Porridge Museum is it, Kirkpatrick Fleming? No, that's um, I can't think exactly where it is, but it's not here. Okay, it's along this road though, isn't it? Mm, no, no. I think we had lunch in one of these pubs along here. Yeah, might have been that one. Ecclefickon. Birthplace up there. Up to the weather. It's gone again, isn't it? Well, I think it's just the shower. Yeah. Services. This is where we bought our first fuel when we first came to Scotland, to Scotland wasn't it? The, the, the fuel station's long gone. Yeah. This is the big um, motorway one, isn't there now? Yeah. It's nice to see the big logging trucks now as they come into Moffat. She, was, she did, yeah. Wanted to come up that old road. Yeah. Way junction. At the roundabout, take the first exit to A701.
again. It's the last time you were here. January. Wasn't no. that after the new year? Oh yeah. Bob and Ailey. Yeah. One forty five there, diesel. What cheaper. Did we pay? Cheaper than petrol. Wow. That's the first time I've seen that for a long, long time. And we what paid one fifty four, I think. One fifty seven. One fifty seven, wow. Yeah. We're definitely filling up there on the way out. If we have if we've got room. Oh I've got room. Turn right, motorway seven and one, then take the first right. One forty five, wow. Turn right onto Home Street, then take the first left. Okay. Easy to miss this turn. I've actually put um, oh, the another sign, sign up, up. Yeah. and another one here. Yeah. Oops. I bet some people have gone down there. Yeah. Poppy shake time. Fired pizzas. Looks like the pizzas are fired up. <laughs> yeah, it's one twenty, isn't it? It's one o'clock arrivals. Yeah. Obviously, it's fairly busy. What, sorry? I said oh, it's a bit fairly busy. <sighs> That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's pretty good it didn't overflow or anything. No. Yeah, that was a bit difficult to do one hand, isn't it? Yeah. So here we are, Moffat. And they did suggest we fill up from the point here. <laughs> We're not breaking any rules, I don't think. Hopefully not. Could have run a hose across the, the road, but uh, we'll or move the van. It just seemed, seemed quicker to get it filled up here rather than wait for the motor and service point, which is just over there. The toilet blocks are just just there. Yeah, so just sort of trying out dry spark on some of these bugs here. Let's start at the top here. Just leave them for a few seconds. Normally, I mean, some of them are a bit... Well, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's pretty, that was quick as well. Yeah, I'm going to try them down here. Start from about here. Best to try and only do a little bit at a time. I've been trying to sort of leave it for a few seconds before I do anything. There's some really sticky, like that one there. I don't know how long they've been on there, do No, they? I don't know if these are some of the Saharan bugs. Well, oh, they could be carrying all sorts of. <laughs> True, <laughs> yeah. It's not getting the worst off, but it's getting most of them off. You don't want to be using something loadable. You can't, you can't use a hose pipe here anyway to, to do it. But that, 
that, I think, is pretty good. Mm. This yeah. bit there. Things like that. That's probably a dragonfly or something that's <laughs> crash landed. Mm. Right, there you go. Yeah. And then polish it up a bit. Okay. Right. Back here. Just a little bit. Sand in there. Some bits are worse than others. That's a real sticky one. That's tar, that is. Get the tar on that one. That needs um, plastic cleaner on it. Mm. Dashboard cleaner and trimmer. What's that? Again, tar. Okay. Get the tar stuff on that. Right, well, I think you quite like this van because otherwise you wouldn't want to clean no, it. No, I wouldn't so be much. doing it. I might draw the line at no, the moment the, the, doing the, the rest uh, of it now. Camel, yeah. Well, we'll do that later, perhaps the, later on in the tour. Just want to get look, some of the worst doesn't bugs. doesn't look so bad. It's mainly the cab was yeah, and the tire pretty and the mucky. Wheels. We'll do the wheels, couldn't we? I admit that took me a fair time, probably about an hour or so. Been doing that. The wheels were absolutely filthy. I don't think they've been cleaned properly. I think, in fact, when they arrived, they were quite mucky. But yeah, cleaned the front of the cab. Tried to do up the top, but can't really reach it. Uh, but yeah, I think it look, it's looking pretty good. I've just done the cab. The other, the uh, the sides don't look too bad actually. Probably. Probably the back needs doing. You can see the wheels were a bit mucky anyway. They'd only been lightly cleaned. Well, the back's not too bad. I'll leave that until it gets properly dirty. Otherwise, people will be accusing me of cleaning a clean van, won't they? All right, pops. Probably just like to introduce the dry sparkle bag. Now this comes as part of a kit, so you can't actually buy this bag separately, but it does come in as an, as a complete caravan or motorhome or car cleaning kit. This would be the motorhome cleaning kit effectively. You say it's a nice padded bag and it's got a padding in there. It's padded there, it feels well made. And uh, I've, I've been keeping it to keep all, all my dry sparkle gear in here. So what you would get in the kit would be the road tar uh, cleaner, the motorhome water, waterless wash, the fabric and upholstery cleaner, uh, the tire and trim dressing, and the plastic dashboard cleaner. 
you'd also get the brush and this brush which is useful for the tyres would get a refill bottle for the waterless wash you'd get a sponge for the tyres and that would all go in that bag I would add I've got the car waterless wash, wash and the odour eliminator I've added those as well so it all fits in that nice padded bag just thought I'd introduce that it's a nice little bag um, it keeps it all in one place so I'll put all my stuff in there plus somewhere to keep the uh, the mop heads as well so what do you rank to that Pops? neat? So all the links for the Dry Sparkle kit and much more will be in the description below. So check that out. I'm on a mission to buy some chips. Yeah, we get, uh, large yeah. Uh, yeah. Two, two large portions or? No, we're doing two large. Okay, one large portion. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, let's have a look around the site. Two new bits here. This is a new bit. Put it well, they put in new hard standing here. Green frog over there. Dog walk. Oh, nice new hard stand in tarmac. This is like the older side. There's a bit in the middle. Chips achieved. Let's have a little look around off it. Allendale Arms. Probably going to be a tour of all the pubs, I think. Town Hall. Garden Centre.
Moffat House. Hotel, Moffat Toffee. Here's the Star Hotel, which is the smallest or the narrowest hotel in the country. Spice India, nice Indian there, we might have that tomorrow. Famous graveyard. Roadies. Chips from the Moffat Chippy. The pie was from Gretna Green. I think it was quicker to get the chips on my bike than it was to take the car. Yeah, you can park outside or get off your bike outside, can't yeah. you? Yeah, so we're at our favourite site, uh, Moffat, and the sun's out. And we're on our way to well, we're in Scotland. I'm going to say we're no longer on our way to Scotland. <laughs> we're, we're in Scotland. We're in yeah, Scotland. Into and, Scotland about uh, twelve o'clock today. Didn't yeah, I? so that's great, and really yeah. sort of happy about that. I've been out cleaning the front of the van, and I made myself all hot and bothered. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, we've put the awning out and sat outside. Yeah. Again, and we've yeah. had a lovely evening walk in the station yeah, park. Around the park, we? I think I've got some photos here. Um, I've filmed the toilets and the showers here so many times. Um, there will be a link, um, which side is it going to be? It's going to be on this side here, and uh, to a, our previous video, so you can have a look at that. Um, they are, there's a lot of them, and it's in one. Could you not just save that to the end, Pops? The, <laughs> she's the shaking. Move about, she's decided. Yeah, she's going to move about whilst we're filming. Yeah, try all the chairs out. Yeah. So the other thing I was going to say was that what's in the area. I mean, again, we've been here before, so the the town is wonderful. There's pubs, there's cafes, there's toffee a toffee shop. Yeah, you know, there's the, the co-op you can easily walk to. There's three fish and chip shops, there's yeah. an Indian. So yeah. there's so much to do if you just want to stay here. Mm. We're going to go to the Black Bull tomorrow, aren't we? I think we are, yeah. There's Brodie's, yeah. isn't there, there's as Brody's, well? the gin bar. Oh, yeah. yeah, so there's such a lot of different places. Bob, you made a right mess there. <laughs> Let me show you this. Yeah, so um, loads to do in the town. Uh, places to visit, we've visited, um, is it Jedburgh? No, no? Not, not, not from here, no. We drove out, didn't we? We drove along? out, so we yeah. went to Peebles, didn't we? Peebles, that's it, Peebles, yeah. Yeah, so um, we went up via Grey Mayor's Tail, didn't we? Yeah, so if you're feeling energetic, you can walk up Grey Mayor's Tail. Yeah, that's, that was just in, in January we did that. We did a little, yeah. little drive around the borders, didn't we? Yeah, the, not too far is that aviation museum we went to, Dumfries and Galloway Aviation Museum. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the the porridge. Oh yeah, the porridge, um, the Devil's Porridge um, exhibition. That's worth a visit. And also uh, Cavalock Castle. Is that Ca Calaverock. Calaverock. Calaverock Castle. Yeah. It's well worth a visit, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, check out some of our older videos from uh, when we went to Moffat for things to do. Um, oh, I'm only saying this because the, the leaflets they give you here, they used to have things to do, do in it. the area. It <laughs> seems to be a bit... I'm going to... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> they just uh, give us this uh, map, don't they, of the site, yeah. which um, unfortunately never seems to have any pitch numbers on. No. So you have to sort of work out which one you're it has on. Got, has got the toilet code on there. Yeah, so I know, so that. I'm not showing that. No. no. And yeah. the barrier key. Yeah. But no, it's obviously 
you know, slim that down a lot. Yeah. Right, so what have you got on your list? Information point. There, There is um, an information point right by reception. And then, so if you are stuck for things to do, have a look in there. Um, the reception, I think they've got a few bits and pieces, at least they used to have. Mm -hmm. Usual sort of thing, you know. Chemical. You don't go in there now, do you? No, that's the thing. I, I wonder if you know they're not finding it profitable be to run shops. I notice a few sites are not running shops, shops anymore. anymore. Yeah, because yeah. they meet you outside. You've paid. You've already paid. Yes, and they just show you to the pitch now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Motorhome service point is just across, across the way the, here. Yeah. Um, there is a grate there. We've been sitting outside the, the motorhome and having loads of entertainment <laughs> today, watching people empty their waste. Just, yeah, and fill up, it's yeah. been the main thing. Yeah. hundred different ways to empty been your doing, waste. Yeah, it's been quite, quite exciting. Yeah. Um, dog walks, there's loads of places you can walk your dog. I mean, you, we, we just went around the park. Um, you can walk to the Green Frog. You can walk out of here. You can go all around the back, around, walk along the river, mm. up into the hills. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a fantastic place for walking dogs. She's she's knackered. She? I know. She's I know she is. She's gone. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah water and um, yeah water points. There are water points around here, but there are no bins as usual. Two bins, one at, by the reception, and there was one. I don't know if it's still there actually. Further the other side. Yeah, we there was it. when we. St yeah, but it's a huge bin compound. Yeah, and yeah. There were all sorts of different bins. Yeah. And the other thing I've got on my list is bus stops where if you walk into the town, it's a five mm. minute walk into the mm. town, you can get buses to just about anywhere really. Mm. Mobile signal strength. Well, you've, you've, that was a weird one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you've got, um, we did a couple of tests, didn't you? And I think it seems to be, is it EE is amazing for well, download? Yeah, something like 100 megabits download and something like four or five megabits upload. Yeah. What that's all about, I've no idea. Um, Vodafone is, bit more sort of balanced mm. uh, but uh, I, but yeah I mean mobile signals not too bad here no so no. that's it I think that's it so you nothing else on your list no I think I've run out of things to say you've run out of things to say <laughs> <laughs> right so we've got one more day here then up to Strathclyde yeah. where we're meeting up with Glyn yeah and that's when we start uh, the other sort of circular bit of the tour do it that way no sort of I don't know, it's because you're around that <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I think we'll catch you later. Yeah. yeah. Okay then. All right. We'll see you soon then. Yeah. Bye, Bye then. then.